My political panel joins me now, Patrice Lee Anwuka with the Independent Women's Forum and Eric Schiffer with the Washington Times. He's a contributor there. Eric, California Democrat governors, uh, the governor there rather, it's senators, it's L.A. mayor. They say Trump has to clear war on immigrants and hardworking immigrant families. What do you say? I think that's a giant lie, Liz. I think that, that they're spinning it. And really what Trump is doing is he's trying to keep citizens here in California, where I live, uh, safe and ensuring that people are not going to be uh, uh, molesting young girls or creating some type of violent crime. Uh, and it's a concern. It's a huge concern. When you have a mayor of Oakland uh, doing what they did, what she did, it just, it, it just, it's like out of some crazy movie. And, but it's real. And it's real for citizens that are here. And it's very frustrating to live here and to have to realize what's going on where you have politicians that are pandering, largely in many cases, I believe, uh, for votes to do this. Uh, when, in fact, citizens' lives, when young kids' uh, lives are at risk, it's disgusting. You know, Patrice, uh, the White House is saying the federal law here constitutionally has supremacy. It's the same argument that the Obama Justice Department made when it sued Arizona over its, its immigrant law, immigration law in 2010, right? Yeah, it's it's an interesting case of federalism here where, you know, is it is it uh, federal law when, it, when we're talking about immigration? Does that really trump what local municipalities and localities can do? Um, you know, but I, I think that there is something that's a, that's an overarching issue. While it's important that we respect the rights of localities to decide what's what's good for themselves, there is a huge public safety issue here. And when when law enforcement um, and local lawmakers yeah. decide to stand in the way, um, n not even just um, not harm, but actually stand in the way of, of federal law enforcement, immigration yeah. officers trying to do their job, you can have some very devastating impacts. And let's not forget here, yeah. when we look at Parkland, okay. when we look at um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or, or Oregon, a case where you know, a legal immigrant who had been deported 20 times went and sexually assaulted an, a, a, an elderly woman, that is because local law enforcement decided to stand in the way of immigration law. That's unbelievable what's going on. Quickly, Eric, we want to move on to the next subject. Are people in California starting to get mad about that? What's going on in, in California, Eric, quickly? I think that people okay. that are sensical, that are that care about the law and care about keeping their family safe, absolutely. Okay. Of course, you'd be crazy not to. Absolutely. Okay. okay, Hollywood, we know what's going on with the Oscars. It hit record lows. 2017, also the worst year for movie ticket sales since 1992. Now, reports of former President Barack Obama is in talks to produce and moderate shows for Netflix on topics like health care and climate change. Let's take a quick check of Netflix stock closing the day in the red after was ticking up higher in the day. It was moving. No, oh, it's now popping up in the green. Eric, uh, this could work overseas. Obama is well liked globally. He's a professor at heart, though. I don't know how it's going to play here in the United States. It sounds like a teacher's faculty lounge show. Is that going to fly? I don't think it's going to fly as much in the United States. But Netflix, their whole model right now is global. In fact, they're hiring diverse uh, casts. I mean, they're really looking at how do they take any kind of content and make sure that they can play it literally, literally around the world. And that's what's yeah. going on. So I don't think I don't think that that's going to be uh, very successful though in the U.S. with the Oscars, it's fascinating because uh, you know, middle America, red America, they don't like the politics. They don't want the politics. And I think many people didn't tune in because of that. It's yeah. just way too political. Pat and the yeah. left has made that happen. Okay. Patrice, I'm sorry. We got to go. We're up against a hard break. Thanks, Patrice and Eric. Thanks for coming on.